Hello, this is my Allay breeder, or duplicator, or whatever you want to call it. It has the part for, you know, breeding them, and a part for pulling them out. For our cage here, you'll notice that uh, every gap is just barely too small for them to get out, and you have a lot of area for, you know, in order to be able to click on them. Now, as is the case for breeding allays, all you have to do is play a disc. If you use uh, blocks, then once the disc runs out, they're ready to uh, duplicate again. Anyways, so once they're dancing, you just start clicking on them. I'd recommend holding down shift here so that you don't open the dispenser below them. But yeah, this will allow you to click on most of them. And generally speaking, all of the new ones will end up now holding an amethyst shard. Now, getting them out is kind of the more difficult part. To do this, I'm just using a chest boat. It dispenses it, and then immediately breaks it. And by immediately, I mean it, it waits a moment. Otherwise, we'd just use a lava cauldron. By waiting, that gives it enough time to actually pick up an allay. To actually activate it, all you have to do is hit the note block, and just like that, one allay. Now, once it's here, it can't actually get out. You may think, oh, but certainly it can come through here in some way, but actually they can't swim, so it's stuck here until you open the fence gate. Also, by the way, if you happen to leave the fence gate open before hitting the note block, it'll automatically get closed. So at this point, you can now uh, swap around their items, uh, you know, probably put them on a lead, well, you actually have to use the lead, I guess, and then you can go and do whatever you need to with them. Lastly, there's also a couple of safety measures. As mentioned before, the fence gate is automatically closed. Also, in case something happens to fall in here, this can often happen with a lead, for example, just by it being broken. It'll go into this barrel. Uh, it, it gets sorted by just simply making it so that the hopper minecart can only pull out an item right as the boat is destroyed. I'm not going to be giving a block-by-block -block tutorial at this point. Uh, the schematic is in the description in case you have Lightmatica. Uh, also, the the jukebox can actually be put just about anywhere. It's not crucial that it's right there, it just has to be close enough. So if you don't like the location of that, you can move it. Other than that, just make sure that you don't hit the note block twice, because that'll mess things up. And uh, whatever you do, don't stand right here when you activate it.